Hi, today we're going to be assembling the Via Vito FT100X folding football table. And uh, as you'll see, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to be really doing it on my own until we get to the last bit where you will need somebody to help you lift it up. And uh, shouldn't take us too long. Let's get cracking. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is obviously get it out of the box and uh, probably the easiest uh, way of doing that, cut away the straps, uh, cut along the edge with a, to break some of the sellotape and then you can pretty much just uh, get it out. Uh, you'll notice some inner packaging here and it's important to really leave that in place until you're finished doing certain other things. So, um, instruction manual, don't forget that. So, this is one edge of the table. And that's the other side there. Now, take the little uh, wooden blocks off the corners. You'll need to do that to get access to everything else. There we have it, our playing surface, which hopefully in the next few minutes, we're gonna be playing on and having a great deal of fun. So it's important at this stage just to take everything out piece at a time. making sure, obviously, that everything's okay. If it isn't, give us a call. And just really wanna make sure we've got everything laid out nicely. Just to lay everything out, makes it much easier to see what you're doing later and it should hopefully help us along the way to a nice, quick and painless assembly. <laughs> okay, so now we've got all the bits out and uh, there's a few boxes within the main box. This is the one we're looking at now. When you open that up, you'll find your scoreboards and stuff. Uh, but very importantly, you'll find all the nuts and bolts and tools that you'll need for putting it together. Uh, the little bags are all labelled uh, with numbers, making it nice and easy. So uh, let's get cracking. So first thing we need to do is put the basic frame together with the playing surface. Uh, for that, we'll grab playing surface, put that just face down on the floor for now, and we'll get the two sides. And with those, we want the edges with the, the sides with the groove in, facing the inside. And we want the flat edge facing the table. Same on the other side, groove on the inside and flat edge facing the, the table to pitch. Okay, uh, we'll obviously need goals for our football table. And here they are. Now, probably the easiest way to do this, if you're doing it on your own, is to start uh, by grabbing bolts uh, labeled number three and the washers labeled number six. Um, and what we're gonna do is just very loosely put together the outside of the, uh, the table. So, with your goals, with the loop being on the furthest away from the ground, just get the sides there and then we've got our bolts whenever we're putting it together with the bolts make sure you do put the washers on because if you don't you may find it uh, working its way loose slowly over over time so you don't need the allen key for this at this stage this is really very very loosely putting it together it doesn't even need to be finger tight really uh, you just need to make sure that it's going to keep a rough structure making it much easier to put the uh, the pitch in place later okay. 
You want to keep turning them now to get them close together but still leaving it flexible so don't don't even turn it till it stops just get them all in a little bit tighter okay so once we've done that um, what we want to do is get the pitch into position and putting the pitch in position is just involves getting it in slid into the groove there and this is why you're very glad you put those bolts in. And then you do the same on this side. There we are. Okay. So now that we've done that on this side, we've got a bit of license to go and do that on the other side without it falling to pieces. Okay, so uh, now that we've got the other end on, gone round all of the bolts and tightened them with the allen key that's supplied. Uh, you don't have to go overboard with how tight they are, just make sure it's pretty firm. Uh, give it a good nip up there. Um, so the next thing we want to do is centre the playing surface. You'll see that the pitch slides backwards and forwards. Uh, the easiest way to centre it is with your fingers, keep them flat against the edge and just pull it gently till you meet the piece of wood underneath. Um, and that will centre it automatically at uh, this end as well, more or less. Okay, so now we're going to um, fix our pitch into position and uh, we'll need the uh, number, number nine screws and, um, we'll, uh, and a standard screwdriver. And uh, what we'll do is, you've got the support braces running across the edge, there's two of those. And to line them up properly, uh, just below this uh, plastic uh, gripper here, you'll see a small hole. There's a hole in the end of that as well there. Same on the other side and same for the other one, just about here and here. So we just slide those in. They are a tight fit, they're supposed to be. And just centre them over the holes. Please note they don't sit flat and flush against the pitch itself. They, they are slightly raised off that. So we'll do the same for the other side. And then with the handy little packet of number nine screws, um, we just, they screw in from the outside here and uh, well, literally pretty straightforward stuff really. Do it finger tight, for, put it in with your fingers first just to get it lined up nicely. Uh, and once you've found the hole, it does take a little bit of practice to get it lined up, but uh, well, a little bit of time to get it lined up, but uh, shouldn't struggle too much. And just uh, tighten them all up. Okay, great. So we've put our support bars in now. They're nice and firmly fixed now. Should do them reasonably tight, as I said. And we'll need screws number 11 and screws number 12. And we'll need our, uh, our net. Goal's no good without a net. So. With the net, what we're going to do, obviously you've got your pitch centered now, and essentially we're just going to turn, turn it that way, slide it on, and that will sit nicely against the back and on the ledge. Um, you've got two screw holes here for holding the pitch down, and you're just going to gently slide the goal, the net, until it's smack bang in the middle of those two. Um, we get the number 12 screw and we're going to fix the goal to the back with the number 12 screw and then once we've fixed the goal in position um, with a couple of screws we'll then fix the pitch down at this side. As I said get it in the middle there you've got the little hole for the screw you can see it's pre-drilled in there to make it nice and easy for you And that's fixed firmly in position. So with that there, we'll take the number 11 screws. You'll need four of those. And you've got the pre-drilled holes in the pitch as well there. And with it being centered over the bar in the middle. get all of those four tightened up until they can go no more and then go and repeat the steps 
on the other side. Okay, so uh, we're getting there. Um, we need to put the legs on. So for this step, you're gonna need parts number one, which is some uh, handles with the bolts on the end uh, with washer number five and bolt number four with washer number seven. So the first thing is to grab, we'll do the back legs first. These are the straight ones. You'll need both straight legs and the, and the widest panel with the uh, logo on it. Um, if you take your leg and then you've got the uh, interlocking plastic there with the here and you just line it up with that and what you're looking for is to have this edge here to be flat. So that's just literally just level and flat. Um, that's where you want it. So once you've uh, got to grips with it, how that needs to be, uh, we're just gonna take part number one, the all important washer number five, and we'll simply put that on here till it interlocks at the right angle. So that's level. And then you literally just put that in and tighten it just enough so that it can't fall off. But we want it wobbly at this stage, we want it nice and loose. Okay, so we'll do the same uh, with the other leg. Okay, and then we want uh, bolt number four and washer number seven for this bit. Uh, so just get the washer on the bolt there. And what we wanna do is, if you're sitting like this, you want the logo here, turn it upside down like that and you'll see on the edge you've got uh, little sockets for that bolt. Okay and at this point you'll need the uh, little allen key that comes with the pack and first thing to do is tighten these, center, these uh, four allen bolts that you've got here. Again, when you're doing this up tight, just nip it up, no need to go excessive, uh, just enough to keep the integrity there. Um, and then once you've done that, just wanna give those a reasonable tighten as well. And that's your back leg done, nice and solid. All right, so uh, now to put the other legs on, we're using exactly the same set of bolts, but with the addition of the packet number two but essentially we're going to do very much the same thing as we did on this end there's just a couple of ex extra steps on on this side so uh, let's get that done nice and quick so that's the number five washers on the number one handles again feet are pointing outwards towards the outside of the table not the inside and we'll do exactly what we did on the other side on the other end sorry um, We'll get that in, line them up with the interlocking uh, bits until this edge is flat, level. Again, do it up but not too tight, let it stay nice and wobbly. We'll do exactly the same with the other side. Put the, the supports into the middle in just a moment. Again, bolts number four and bolts number and washers number seven. <laughs> Logo upside down, don't forget. Now, <clears throat> take the big silver bar and bolts number two that I mentioned earlier. And again, you still want uh, washers number five on those as well. There we go. Okay, once you've got them started, they will go easy. And all you need to do now is just go around with the Allen key and get them all nice and tight. 
you'll have a nice solid base from which to build. And at this point, you'll be wanting, once these are all tightened, get two people, lift it up, make sure you keep your knees bent and your back straight, of course, lift it up and flip it straight over. Don't let it lean on the sides there because you can, you know, uh, cause damage to the table. So just lift it up cleanly and flip it over. Right, now that you've flipped it over, um, this is where it's getting exciting. We've got our pitch. We've got pitches, goals, nets. All we're missing is the players. So um, in order to get them in position, what we're going to need is the foam, little foam circles. Uh, take those out of the packet. It's a lot easier for you afterwards. And we'll need all the very lightweight plastic washers, the large ones. And we need our players. So we've got the player and you'll find a bag of... Uh, foam with metal rods inside them. These are the form part of the telescopic rod system. So the first thing to do is line our player up this way and just there's the holes, there's the holes with the plastic on the inside and that's the ones you want to be threading them through. So it's a reasonably tight fit but it does go and once they're in, from this side, take the metal rod, there's the flat end with the hole in it, and we're going to have that facing outwards. So just thread that through the outside. And then the first thing to do, a bit like a kebab, just put your foam circle on there, and then on top of that, just hang one of the plastic washers and thread that in, goes in nice and easy. Thread it in there and for the time being, just leave it like that. So then we need to get the rest of our team. And the way that they're set up is one, three, uh, four, and three. So exactly the same as before, the circle with the plastic, and we'll thread them in. And from the other side, our steel rod, again with the flat uh, piece, flat end with the hole in it, going on the outside, and we do the foam pad and the plastic washer and feed them in and just keep repeating foam circle washer and then our attackers foam circle plastic washer and in and then just repeat that uh, with the team on the other side okay nearly there got our players we just need to get them fixed in position and get the handles on so uh, what we're going to do for this next bit is we've got a bag full of very odd looking plastic here and you've got three different distinct pieces okay so we've got this one with the with the bolt nut uh, shape square shape head on it okay we have a round circle with a thread that's half a thread and we have the other half of that thread with a little circle. So what we're going to do is you'll need the two bits with the thread on and take the bar with the flat end and the hole and slide the main piece on. Line the end of the thread up with the end of the bar as close as you can get it. I don't know if you can see that there. And then take the other half of the thread with the thread pointing outwards this way. And it's got a little pin in it which fits through that hole. And the two bits clip together to form a complete thread. You then push that in through the hole at the side, holding it firmly with your hand, and take your plastic piece with the hex nut head, 
sorry, it's not a hex, it's a square head, uh, and just tighten that on finger tight. Once you've done that for all of them, we've got the, put the handles on. This bit is very, very, very straightforward. All we're going to do uh, is literally slide the handle onto the end and just sort of twist it back and forth and keep pushing it and keep pushing it. You can hold the player, probably makes this a bit easier and then you'll feel it just suddenly grip. That's it. Keep doing that and you're almost, almost ready to play. All right, so we're nearly there. We've got players, pitch, all we need now is a ball to kick around and to be able to keep score. So these are the last bits you're gonna need. Uh, we've got the scoreboards, of course. So the red one goes at the red end, the black scoreboard at the black end. We need balls to kick around, of course. And we've got a little packet of screws labeled number 10. These are the last screws that you're gonna need. And all you do, you've got a little hole which you feed the screw, screw through here. And at this end of the table, well, both ends, uh, you've got little pre-drilled holes. They're only little starter holes and these are self-tapping screws. So you just need to line them up with the starting hole, um, like so. And then just, you, they are quite tricky to start off. So you do need to apply a little bit of pressure, not too much, but you will get it going with that and this one there we go if you find while you're doing this that the screw is getting really tight and won't go just turn it anti-clockwise and take it out a little bit and then turn it back around that will just dislodge some of the material in there and make it a bit easier for it to tap its way in okay Repeat that for the other side. And then, elastic bands off. Mind your fingers, uh, mind your eyes, everybody. Just take the bands off and uh, get the balls out. And you are ready to play. Thanks.